All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. For the last 48 hours, I have been trying to rekindle a dying relationship. No, not with Paddy Doyle, before you say anything. We are good. I'm talking about my relationship with the Chiang Mai, the hyper-popular Thai tourist destination in northern Thailand. Now, Chiang Mai will always have a special place in my heart, as it was the first place I ever traveled in the world for food, kicked off my whole roaming cook journey but like with all long-term relationships after a while you start to nitpick little things that will start to annoy you so I thought what better way to remedy that than to remind me what exactly it was that made me fall in love with Chiang Mai in the first place so today guys I'm going to take you out for three different things we're going to go out for Khao Soi Chiang Mai's most famous dish we're going to be getting some Chiang Mai sausage we're also going to be heading out to a lake chilling in some huts and eating some dancing live shrimp. Yes, you heard that correctly. I'm going to be joined by everyone's favourite travel YouTuber, Mr. Paddy Doyle, as we give a big cheers to Chiang Mai. I'm sure by the end of it, I will be back in love with Chiang Mai and I'm sure you will fall in love with Chiang Mai too. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, so first on the list is Khao Soi Kun Yai, located on the North Moat in Chiang Mai's old city. This 20 plus something year old restaurant is hyper popular with locals and tourists alike absolutely packed at lunch times, which is exactly when we've decided to come. Let's go take a look. All right, guys, I'm super excited to show you this first place. This place is very, very special to me. This is the restaurant that pretty much kick started the Roman Cook channel. Although it did take me a few years to get it off the ground, I first flew to Thailand just to eat khao soi, and this is the first shop that I ever ate khao soi in. So I'm very, very excited. I hope Paddy's very excited too. Are Can't you ready wait. to see where it all started, Paddy? Can't wait to see. Let's go. Let's go, I'm starving. Do you have that tripod? Is that what you have? Look at that. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. Okay. 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 How's the food? Awesome. Yeah? We heard that in Canada. Yeah? So we are from Canada. They are from the US. Oh, nice. Whereabouts? Uh, Toronto, Atlanta, Birmingham. Oh, nice. Okay. So Birmingham, Alabama. Alabama. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Roll time. Nice, all right. No, 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 I'm from England, I'm from London. I'm oh, you're London. from England? Yeah, yeah, I'm from England. Well, Originally, I live in Bangkok. We've right. heard about this food uh, all the way in, in Canada. Yeah? So, yeah. Did it live up to expectations? Definitely, definitely. definitely. Brilliant. Definitely. All right. Amazing food. Amazing. Thanks, Have guys. Thank you. Enjoy your trip. Enjoy your trip. Bye bye. Paddy's gone with the guys, he's got chicken, I've got nua. Uh, beef and in here it is beef beef shin slow cooked a tender beef shin absolutely packed full of flavor I know that because we had it yesterday um, thinner egg noodles on top and the thicker egg noodles on the bottom it's a it's a thinner thinner curry broth and then they actually when she's finished making the bowls up she puts on a dollop of thickened coconut cream right with that we've got obviously our lime so we're gonna squeeze that in we're gonna go shallots or red onions in this case and pickled mustard greens long. All right, and I am going to add a bit of chili. All right, so we've got our picoa, our roasted red chili. Now, I would advise you guys to try this first before you put this in. But obviously, I came here yesterday, so I know what this tastes like. 
Nick Putty Spoon. All right, now let's have a look at that. Oh, yes. Uh, well, because the chicken here is not served on the bone, it's actually chunks of the thigh meat, right? Chicken thigh, yeah. Cup just it up. Yesterday, when we came, came here, I thought the broth was spicy already. So I'm not going to go any extra. A little bit of onion. And then these are the pickled mustard green. And it's just a case of mixing it up, easy peasy. It's got me falling back in love with you. <laughs> yeah, it's got me we're falling back in love with you. Mm. We fell out for a while, didn't we? And well, you know. Not fell out, but it was just sort of, you know, fell out of love. I love you again now, because of this. I love this place so much because the broth is a little bit lighter. Uh, it's not as thick and creamy, especially as you get in Bangkok. Like, Kaosoi is everywhere in Bangkok now, right? But it's usually thick. It's not fresh coconut milk. This is a curried broth, very heavy on the cardamom, black cardamom and coriander seed, like quite a traditional broth. As Buddy said, it's quite spicy, packed full of flavor. You've got the roasted shallots and ginger in the paste, giving you a nice and natural sweetness, but there's no other sweetness in it. Black soy sauce and finished with that thickened coconut cream. So it's very rich. Why do you think that they serve the chicken like this, whereas everywhere else is off the bone? Yeah, it's, it's, it's odd. Um, do you think that's just the way that they stand out? Yeah, maybe, but they, they've always done it. And I've actually, if, I, if I'm honest, that was my only sort of criticism of, the, of this. When I used to eat here, when I used to come to Chiang Mai, um, I much prefer to have a chicken drumstick. Yeah. But the plus point for this is that it is still chicken thigh. Like in Bangkok, if you've got pieces of chicken, it's usually breasts that are really dry. It is still chicken thigh, and they use the bones from the chicken to make the soup for both the beef and the chicken. I've gone with beef. Do you want to try some shin today? Yeah, sure. Can you try some beef? And I'll try some chicken. Um, he's eating all the chicken. Right, so I'm gonna go in with the beef. Super, super tender, full of flavor. You've got all the, the connective tissue all broken down its shin, so it needs a lot of slow cooking, and this has been cooked over slow heat for hours and hours and hours until it's absolutely melts in your mouth. I do prefer the thicker noodles on top, but that's my only criticism, if that is a criticism. Now, I'm not going to go too much into the different cow soys you can get in Chiang Mai because, look, you could pick any out of a hundred, couldn't you, and say that's your favourite and you couldn't really complain. Tell them about what we did yesterday. That's what I'm getting to. So we actually did a video yesterday where Paddy picked out the top three rated Cow soy is meant to be the best based on reviews yeah. based on reviews cross-referenced it all and we went one of them was here we went to Mer Sai and we went to Kao Kao soy, Niman. Niman and if you want to see which one came out on top head over to Paddy's channel now all right well for me that's one of the best bowls of cow soy I've ever had in my whole entire life be warned though guys, get down here early, right? We got here 10 o'clock yesterday when it opened and we got served straight away. It was still busy, wasn't we it? To, but we had to wait half an hour today. Yeah, half an hour today. But we came at lunchtime. Mm. We know better than that in Thailand, don't we? I'm sorry I haven't contributed much to this segment of the video because this is so good. <laughs> I've just been looking at you going, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the biggest <laughs> compliment that you can give a bowl of food that you can't actually talk while you're eating it. You just straight in and this place as i said packed from midday forget about it from midday till like two o'clock but they shut it too oh they cut shut it too don't they yeah so just come at, come come at opening time at 10 a.m and you'll be absolutely fine it's hyper hyper popular with tourists and locals alike but the one thing i like about this the flavor is exactly the same if not better than when i came in 2009 for the first time they don't dumb it down for the tourists it is super 
super authentic lamb tete, lamb kanat, lamb ye ye. I'm so glad that's as good as I remember, but is the Sai Ua that we're going to get next going to be as good as I remember? You will have to stick around to find out. Bye-bye. See you next year. Bye-bye. So next up guys, I want to show you something, as I said, very special to me because when people ask me, I always say that I came here to eat cow soy, which is true. It wasn't actually the first thing I ate. The first thing I ever ate in Chiang Mai was Sai Ua, Northern Thai sausage. And I had it here at the... Southern Gate Night Market. Is it? It's not the technical name, but that's... Oh, that's where the night market's here, right? Well, I think this, it... is, this is the South Gate of the, of the, of the city. And every evening there's a night market here. If you look around, you can oh, see. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's they just haven't set it up yet. I mean, yeah. if you just Chiang Mai Gate Market, but yeah, where the night market is. Yeah. Um, and we're going to go in there now. This might not be the best site or in Chiang Mai. It might not even be my favourite. I don't even really remember. But what it is is the first thing I ever ate in Thailand, and it absolutely blew my mind. So let's go. Right. So there's actually two different ones, but I know for a fact this is the one I got it from. This one? Yes, they've got loads of different stuff here. Pack more. So what we're going to do, we're going to get some Sai Ua, and then we're going to get some Nampik Nom, which is the green... What do you have? Jam Dame? Dame? Gini... Sip... <laughs> yeah, I have some uh, nice okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ko, uh, sai ua. Red ua. La ko... Kap mu. Ani kak mu, kap mu. Kap mu, yeah. Kap? It's hippie. Hippie and pork rice. Okay. And then, uh, nam pig nom. Nam pig nom, how do I know? Okay. Sadi kap? Sadi kap. Sadi kap. Sadi kap. ไปชุบไปเคยมาสิปีที่แล้วเป็นไงล่ะสิบสองปีนะสิบสองปีอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืม
I say Ua, everything turns to colour. So, I mean, it might be the best Saiwa, but it might be not. Or it might be the best Saiwa, maybe not. But what is fantastic is this smoky, chilly dip. You can see all the black uh, charred pieces. It's really, really salty, really, really spicy. And I'm telling you, it's going to be the perfect accompaniment when we get to the lake for our fried Skin. We've also got some cut more, but I might keep that. I might keep that in the bag until we get to the lake and we can eat that with a beer around the lake. All right, Paddy. Nice. So for everyone that doesn't know at home, obviously they wouldn't know, but you didn't get a very night, good night's sleep last night, did you? No, it was one of those nights where you just lie down, stare at the ceiling, waiting to go to sleep, and it just, I just wasn't able to sleep. But me and you had a couple of coffees. Well, you had two double espressos. Yeah, for some, so. I don't even drink that much coffee, and then it caught up with me later that night, and I just, I've had one hour's sleep, so I'm a little bit. So, I've got the perfect place to take you. You can have a little lie down, little nod off. I've and never you can, actually been to this place. You know, I, know, I, know, I know where it is, um, and I think it'll be a good place to chill. So, what's the story with you in this lake? How did you. So, um, when I used to come here a lot, my friends, uh, I think it was the second time I got here, friend of mine said oh do you know what we found this lake it's amazing you can get really unique food down there a la gong hen dancing shrimp the shrimp oh, yeah. that pop out that you ate at the, the night market um so we went down there for that but it's just a cool place to sit down you've got all these little huts around the lake yeah it looks nice on google maps i don't know why i've never ever been there you can have a sleep recharge the batteries and i'll speak to you guys and eat some dancing shrimp So we're just waiting for our little, uh, don't know what you'd call this, hut, gazebo. Um, so Paddy's having a little lie down. You order your drinks and your food from here, and then you sit in your little, your little lakeside hut. Have a few drinks, have some food, and relax. Sabai sabai. This is bringing back some serious memories, guys. Just how I remember it hasn't changed at all. I think the last time I was here was probably about six years. It could be seven years ago the last time I was here. Six, seven years ago. Hasn't changed a bit. There's nothing fancy here. We've just got wooden huts with straw roofs over the river. I'd prefer this to the Maldives, if you ask me. I prefer this to an overwater villa in the Maldives any day of the week. Just sit down, relax, have a couple of beers, Order some dancing shrimp, and that's your day done. Sabai, sabai. We've come to these ones because this is just the one that I know, but there is, there's huts all around the lake, so I think they're all just sort of run by different people um, in like different sections, so it really doesn't matter where you go. I just, I just know this one, that's why I come to this one. All right, so now I've got an audience, everyone's watching me, uh, just about to chow down on some of these dancing shrimp. Um, I was gonna wait until we got into the huts because we're still waiting for someone to pay their bill, but um, she said I've got to eat them now. So I'm gonna pour myself a beer to wash these down with. Um, let's just, let's take a look. Right, I actually feel really sorry for these guys. <laughs> Dancing shrimp. Oh, oh, he's off, he's off that one. Why have I done, why have I shouted this up? All right, guys, so look, all right. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Look, he's number four, yeah? Oh, I feel bad for him, I can't eat him off the floor. Though. Run, run for your life, go on, jump back in the river. Right, so they're actually alive. Oh, mate.
ล้ำขนาดเซฟเซฟเซฟไลเดอร์I don't know what they're not bad at all. They actually don't taste of anything apart from, like the, we've got chili, uh, some spring onions, some red onions or shallots, and yeah, lemongrass. All you can taste is the. the I'm actually going to go for the bottom so I can actually get some of this. Some of the dressing, a bit like a lap. I said I wanted it really spicy because I didn't want to taste the prawns, but. You know what? Mmm, the actual um, the actual little salad bit at the bottom, zesty. Mm. Really nice, actually. Really nice. I'm not sure I'd order them again just because it's freaking me out. They're jumping around, but the actual the actual dressing is a bit like a nam jim chow. Sap lighter. Definitely need a beer to wash that down, man. Go, 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 go! We've got our little hut. Paddy's gonna lead the way. This is lovely, Jubbly, this is. Not bad, is it? There's something soothing about being by the water, I find. Oh, bush! Time for some of this crispy pork skin. I've got three different kinds. I'm gonna get all of them into a bowl. Some... Smell that green dip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that what you just got out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got this one. There's three. I don't know the different names for these. She just said they're cap more, but someone told me one of them is called cap more the other day. So this is what I know as cap more. That's what we get in Bangkok most of the time. And uh, they're just different, right? Like different pieces of fat from from the pig. All equally delicious. Really, really salty. Oh, and super crispy. Get myself a nice dip. This is what the dips are ready for. I don't know if anyone else apart from me dips cider in this. So what? Do you know what? I said Lap Mood Hard was the best beer snack in Thailand, but I think, I think I was wrong. I think this is the best beer snack in Thailand. And what a view, what a view to be eating it in front of. What do you think of, uh, what do you think of the lake, mate? This is place, this place is chill. I like that there isn't loads of loud, like, music. Yeah, yeah. You can just hear people talking. It's a good place to take a nap. It's just chill. <laughs> <laughs> it's so chill, you can't really say much about it, can you? I know. It's just like... Nice, nice cold drink. Some delicious snacks. Can't beat it. Right, thanks for joining me today, mate. No problem. Thanks, for It's been a blast. It's been fun going to all of these places that rekindle your first proper travel memory here. Cheers, mate. Cheers, John Gao. John Gao, Chia. I absolutely love being by water, as you know. I prefer rivers and lakes to the beach any day of the week. So this, for me, is absolutely perfect. It has definitely... Today and yesterday has definitely rekindled my love for Chiang Mai. And when I say I've fallen back in love with Chiang Mai, what I meant was that because I've come here so many times, um, when I first came to Thailand, I, all I did was come to Chiang Mai. I used to get to Bangkok, next day I would fly to Chiang Mai, and I, I've probably been here 20 times. So when you've been somewhere so much, and I see people that have lived in Bangkok for years doing the same thing, you, you start to find you start to pick faults in things. Things start to annoy you that wouldn't have annoyed you before. And you can get a little bit bored and you can get a little bit disillusioned with a place. So I just wanted to show you three of my favorite things today that 
instantly made me fall in love with Chiang Mai when I first got here and show you that sometimes you just have to remind yourself what you like about a place or what you love about a place rather than what you don't like or what you don't love about a place. But anyway, guys, um, I'm going to leave you now with a little bit of uh, drone footage courtesy of my man Paddy D. Um, around this beautiful lake it's it's a stunning place it's absolutely amazing about a 25 minute drive outside of Chiang Mai um, so definitely 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 get yourself down here guys I will stick links with directions opening times and all that good stuff in the description box below for now that's it from me and my man Paddy D and I will see you back for some street food in Bangkok <laughs>